Looking to set up a subscription service for your cat images? If so, you come to the right place. Hey there, this is Brian, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at auto-renewing subscriptions that is offered by the App Store. But before we start in earnest, take a moment to share this video with other developers who you think may find it useful. An auto-renewable subscription is pretty much the same as a non-renewing one, with a few differences. First, you must create a subscription group. A group is a way for you to manage all your various subscriptions. Now, you can add as many subscriptions to that group, but only one of those can be active at a time. Now, you can also have one free trial per group. Now, more about those in just a moment. Subscription groups allows users to upgrade or downgrade their subscription without having to cancel them. If your app provides, say, different types of subscriptions, then you would create different subscription groups to house those various subscriptions. All right, let's get concrete here. For example, let's say I have a game uh, and I may have a subscription where the user gets new levels each month based on, the, on a subscription price. I may now have another subscription where I provide weekly cosmetics as well. By housing them in different groups, users can upgrade and downgrade one subscription from another without affecting the other. You could also define the lengths of the subscriptions in iTunes Connect and you display it as you would any other product. Apple, for, Apple provides a variety of different time lengths with seven days being the bare minimum for a subscription length. You can also gate the purchase of an auto renewing subscription behind your own login system. When you do incorporate a remote server into the mix, you'll have to keep in mind that Apple servers drive the process. I've used apps where the remote server wasn't informed about my subscription being updated, so when I logged into the web front end, I was no longer a, subscri a subscribed user. The way to solve this was to restore purchases on my device, which notified that remote server that I was still current. Now you can test the auto renewing feature in the sandbox. A caveat of the sandbox environment is that it will only auto renew subscriptions for the same sandbox user six times per day. After this, you can make as you can still make purchases, but they won't automatically renew. Now, when you create multiple subscription options in the same group, you give them service levels. Essentially, you give your most feature-rich option as the top subscription. Lesser subscriptions increase their service levels. By including different service levels, customers have the ability to upgrade, downgrade, or cross-grade. Downgrading means that the user selects a subscription that offers a lower level of service than their current subscription. They are immediately upgraded and receive a refund of the prorated amount of the original subscription. Upgrading is when a user purchases a, purchase a, a subscription at a higher level. They immediately receive the new subscription and receive a refund of the prorated amount of the original subscription. Cross-grading is when a user switches to a new subscription to the equivalent level. If the subscriptions are the same duration, the new subscription begins immediately. If the durations are different, then the new subscription goes into effect at the next renewal date. You can also provide various types of offers with auto-renewing subscriptions. You can offer an introductory offer and a promotional offer. An introductory offer is, is a limited discounted price or free trial. A promotional offer is a discounted price for a specific duration for existing and previously subscribed customers. You can use subscription offers to help win back subscribers who have canceled their subscriptions or promote an upgrade to a higher rank subscription at a special price. Customers can accept the offer even if they've already completed an introductory offer. Now, both al offers allow customers to provide the options as pay as you go, pay up front, and a free trial. Pay as you go is an introductory price for a specific duration. For example, I may charge $9.99 for three months for my $19.99 .99 a month subscription. The customer pays $9.99 each month until the trial is over. Pay up front means the user pays for one time pay period. For example, the $9.99 for the next three months. Lastly, you can offer a free trial for a specific duration. Once the duration expires for any of these, then the normal subscription will begin. That said, there are some guidelines for auto-renewing subscriptions. First, the subscription must exist across all of the user's device, devices. 
apps offering subscriptions must allow the user what they paid for without forcing users to do additional tasks, like posting on social media, uploading contact info, um, checking the, in the app multiple times. Subscriptions may include consumables and access to discounted uh, consumable goods. Now, if you are changing your app to a subscription-based model, you should not remove functionality that, it, that existing users have paid for. If customers pay to unlock, their, un unlock your app, they should still retain the use of it after you've introduced a subscription model to new customers. For more information, definitely check out the Apple interface, Human Interface Guidelines. Subscriptions are a great way to expand your app from a one-time purchase and into an actual service. Of course, there's a lot more work with subscriptions and in-app purchases in general. If you want to know more, check out the full course at raywinderlich.com. Cheers.